Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Base. This tutorial is a continuation of the previous tutorial on database design. And we will learn the following topics here. Refine the database design. Apply the normalization rules. Test the database design. In the last tutorial, we learnt how to set up primary keys and foreign keys to establish table relationships. Let us now continue with the process of database design. First, we will refine our database design. Now that we have a preliminary design, we can create and populate the tables with sample data. We can create sample queries, forms and reports and see if all our initial questions are answered. We can check for unnecessary duplications and eliminate them by altering the design. We can add columns that we may have forgotten. Also, we can include business rules to the library database to enforce database integrity. For example, the price column in the books table has to be numeric. Another business rule can be the return date should be one month after the date of issue of a book or when a specific action occurs further actions should be triggered. So if a book return date is overdue then we should set up actions in the database to send an email reminder to the member. So as we redesign we may introduce new tables, columns, rules or constraints and we have to go all over the previous steps to ensure that the data integrity is not lost. Next, we can apply the normalization rules. These are used to see if our tables are structured correctly and free of any modification anomalies that we saw earlier. The process of applying the rules or normal forms to a database design is called normalization. Let us see the first three normal forms in our tutorial. Let us first see the first normal form. First normal form or 1NF says that all column values must be atomic. For example, each cell in the price column in the books table should have only one value, meaning the column should hold only the price of that book and nothing else. Similarly, each first name cell in the author's table should have only one author's first name. First normal form also says that there are no repeating groups of columns. As an example, we will suppose that a publisher has published three books and the publisher's table structure has the following columns. Publisher ID, Publisher, Book 1, Author 1, Book 2, Author 2, Book 3, Author 3. Notice the repeating groups, book and author, three times. So if we see such repeating groups, we should revisit our design. Now, if the publisher publishes 10 more books, we are forced to change the table structure by adding 20 columns. So we see that the table design is not stable as data changes. Also, searching and sorting the table by book or author will become cumbersome. So, we solve this flaw by splitting the table into two or three tables. In our example, we will split the above table into publishers, books and authors, as shown in the image on the screen. This design brings the table to the first normal form and keeps the table structures table as data on publishers and books keep changing. Let us see the second normal form now. 
a table is said to be in second normal form or 2nf if it is in 1nf and every non key column is fully dependent on the entire primary key this rule applies when we have a primary key that consists of more than one column for example let us consider the books issued table with the following columns book id member id book title and issue date with book id and member id forming the primary key of the table now notice the book title column we can get the book title by looking up the book id in the books table in other words book title is dependent on book id only and not on member id so it is not dependent on the entire primary key to bring this table into second normal form we must remove book title from this table and retain only those columns that are fully dependent on both the primary key and columns issue date column will be retained here as it is fully dependent on both the primary key fields now let us see what the third normal form is a table is said to be in third normal form 3nf if it is in 2nf and if all the non key columns are independent of each other for example let us assume the books issue table with columns as book issue id serving as the primary key book title member issue date and return date and assume that the library's policy of return date is 1 month after the book issue date now base can calculate the return date by using the issue date column which is a non key column meaning return date is really dependent only on issue date column and no other column also if we enter a different date in the return date field then it will violate our library's policy so to keep the table in the third normal form we will remove the return date column from the table so now we know how to apply the first three normal forms usually our database design can stop at 3nf for more information on normal forms and database design visit the websites shown on the screen finally let us test our database design as we have gone over the database design process we can create the database structure here we will create the tables relationships rules or constraints forms queries and reports and we can test the database with real data and users use the forms for performing data additions updates or deletes to the database run reports to see if the report results are correct and accurate as the database gets ready for use we can check the performance in terms of speed we can add indices to the tables for faster retrieval of data and we should perform periodical database maintenance to keep our database application running successfully now that we are done here is an assignment for you add a new entity called media to the library database design media consists of dvds and cds and they can be either audio or video just like books dvds and cds can also be issued to the library members follow the database design process and apply the first three normal forms to your design this brings us to the end of this tutorial on the third part of database design in libreoffice base to summarize we learned the following topics on database design refine the database design apply the normalization rules test the database design 
Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. This project is coordinated by SpokenTutorial.org. More information on the same is available at the following link. This script has been contributed by Priya Suresh, Desi Crew Solutions, and this is Soundarya, Desi Crew Solutions, signing off. Thanks for joining.